There is no question that the two most powerful decks ever created are the Svengali deck and the Taper deck. The Fusion deck borrows the best features of both and merges them together in one powerful package. The cards may be spread and displayed, all different one moment, and then transform into a deck of identical cards the next. The Fusion deck may be shown shuffled and then instantly produce a deck of cards full of mated pairs. You may have a card selected and shoveled back in and then instantly find it and identify it behind your back without ever seeing the card. The Fusion deck allows for a stunning any card at any number, with the deck seemingly out of the performer's control. A card is selected and shuffled back in the pack and instantly will appear at any position less than 52 chosen by your audience. The Fusion deck does all of this without any short and long cards. It does it without any rough and smooth and has the benefit of allowing the performer to engage its secret properties with more natural handling than one would be forced to use with the antiquated decks of the past. In short, the Fusion deck is a better tool for the modern magician and may be used to accomplish hundreds of different tricks. The star of the show just might be my effect of Magician Goes Fishing. A participant may shuffle the deck and then deal out two hands of cards for a classic game of Go Fish. If you don't remember, the object of the game is to make mated pairs of cards by attempting to guess which cards in your hand match with those in your opponent's. Despite there being absolutely no sleight of hand involved, the performer has complete control on the exact cards the participant guesses correctly and at any time can control when they guess wrong. The entire routine comes to an impressive conclusion when the participant manages to fish out the one card left that they need to win the game amongst a messy pond of face down cards on the table on their first try. Whether you perform my go fish effect the any card at any number, a classic ambitious card, or a myriad of other routines, the Fusion Deck is sure to find a home in your working repertoire. The Fusion Deck. Get one and fool your friends before they fool you first. I'm going to teach you how you can win any card game in the entire world, every time. No skill, no practice. No kidding, are you interested in learning? Yes. Awesome. Uh, it is customary to let whoever you are playing shuffle the cards. Uh, can you give it one of those fancy riffle shuffles and push them together? We're going to play the iconic game, the gambling game, world's famous, very difficult, played in casinos all around the world, Go Fish. Okay, let's do it. You've played Go Fish before? Years ago. It's also customary, whoever you are playing against, that they are allowed to at least give the cards a cut. So I will give them a cut as well. Okay. You are going to deal out two hands of ten, ten cards each, starting with me first, then you, and so on and so forth. That's perfect. Uh, while you deal, I will explain the rules for those people who don't remember. Uh, the object of the game is try to anticipate or guess at the cards in your opponent's hands that you think might match the cards in your hands with the goal of creating color mates, a color mate being two cards of the same color and same value. For example, like uh, a, a king of hearts and a king of diamonds, that's a color mate. But a king of hearts and a king of clubs, not a color mate, wrong colors, they don't match. Okay. Uh, so anything that you have accidentally dealt yourself at the outset, you can play as a pair face up on the table. If I have any right now. If you have any right now. Uh, and if you don't, oh, okay, you do. That means do. maybe you don't need the, the secret method. You're already winning, but that's okay. Uh, I recommend arranging your cards lowest to highest. That just makes it easy to find cards when they're called out, and I'm gonna do the same thing with mine, like this. All right, perfect. Since you dealt, I get to go first. Ready to play? Ready to play. Do you have any red queens? Go fish. So you know the you, you know the game, right? This is A the bit. pond, yeah, we fished the it. pond. Unfortunately, I didn't get my red queen, uh, so that just goes into my hand for the next round, but your turn now. Do you have a black five? Uh, no, go fish. Do you have a red ace? Go fish. Okay. Your turn. Do you have a red king? I uh, do not. Go fish. This could take a long time, but here's how you tip any game in your favor. This is the big secret. I have it down here. That's it. 
This is my lucky ring. Notice I wasn't wearing it. I usually do wear it, which is how I win all the games that I like to play. If you're wearing this ring, you are guaranteed to win. You look skeptical. Let me prove it to you now. Do you have a black nine? Yep. Yeah. Lucky ring, of course. You want to give it a try? Yep. Here, put that on your finger. Thank you. Go for it. Do you have a blackjack? I do. I do have a blackjack. That's yours. You. Do it again. Do you have a red six? A red six. I do have a red six. Go ahead. That's yours. Thank you. Do it again. Okay. Why not? How about a black queen? Black queen. Yes. The power of the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank Amazing, you. right? Yeah. You know what? Give that back. That's a little bit too powerful. Now try it without the ring. Just to see. Okay. Do you have a... Um, I guess it's ready. Do you have a black four? No, go fish. Right, thus proving the power. Let's really test the power of the ring because if the ring really is affecting this, we can really push this to a limit. Uh, take your cards uh, face down there. Take any one of my cards and just shove it out. Push it towards me and I'm going to do the same thing with just one of yours. So we both have chosen cards. If the ring could really do what it says it could do, we should be able to do something really, really cool. Do you have, this would be amazing if this works, do you have a black seven? Go fish. No kidding. No kidding. Uh, oh, I wasn't wearing the ring. That was my mistake. It's okay. We, we'll, we'll do this this way. Okay. Right. Nice, nice, messy, nice, messy, messy, messy pond. Power of the ring. Black seven. I didn't get it. I okay. <laughs> didn't get it. Uh, here, I'll give you the ring. Thank you. Uh, you'll have a good chance to do this. Okay. Do you have a red seven? You have a red seven? Mm -hmm. I have a black seven. No, That's, that doesn't help me. And I have a red queen. So red, red. Almost. Okay, go. You know what? You have the ring. Power yes. of the ring. Lots of choices. We're looking for this one. We're looking for the red seven. Push any card out towards you, but don't look at it. I'm really testing the ring. We're really testing the ring. Let's this is the big conclusion, the big ending. Some random middle card. Okay. That one. Do you want to change your mind, or is that the one? That doesn't seem like a good idea to change your mind. As long as you're fine with the mind you have, that's all right. You could have had any of those. Okay. I don't but that's want the ones. one you went for. I want this one. We're looking for a red seven. Have a peek at it. <laughs> you got it. The power <laughs> of the ring. Go fish. You know what? I'm gonna need that back before you swindle some kids out of their of their hard-earned lunch money. Fine. I'll take that back. Thanks. <laughs> but thanks for playing. It was cool.